Hey friends, it's Carrie from Stretch G TV, and I am joined by Suri the cat, who is not here for the stretching, but apparently for the mat. Yes, and the love. There's so much love here. All right, so this week is week 12 of Stretch Chi 101. It's a wonderful week. This one's a big one. This is our low back pain week. So we're gonna work on the outer aspect of our hamstring line. Okay, this is so more the outside of our bodies. This fascial line runs from your head all the way through your body, down the back, like your entire back, through your sacrum, through the area where people really get that low back pain, through your hips, your glutes, down through your knees, all the way to your ankles and your feet. So really, really important for hip, knee, and ankle stability, which really affects your balance. We wanna make sure that we're staying balanced, right? This one's a big one for balance. And because this fascial line runs down through your sacrum and through your glutes and into your hamstrings, this is a big one for sciatica. Now I know some of our other stretches that we've done have been good for sciatica, but this one is like the big one because the muscles that we're gonna release and the fascial line that opens up while you're doing this stretch is where the sciatic nerve runs through, where it usually gets pinched and that's where you end up with sciatic pain. So my friends, if you have low back pain, if you have sciatica, this is the week that we're gonna address this stuff and I'm so excited for that. Now also, in Chinese medicine, this line lines up with your bladder meridian and the bladder meridian is associated with nerves. So not just like physical nerves, like, you know, like your sciatic nerve, but also nervousness, anything that makes you feel nervy, like um, feeling afraid of failure, you know, like if you have to give a big presentation and you're like really anxious about it, it's normal to get really tight through this line. Okay, it makes you feel really rigid. It makes you feel like stiff as a board. Uh, if you've ever danced before, like your first day in dance class and you don't feel like you can let go and you feel like really stiff, this fascia line runs all the way up the back of your body. It holds you up super straight and stiff. So you may not feel like you can let go and just dance when you're locked up in this muscle group. So when you think about it, opening up this line gives you the freedom to move around easily and still feel balanced. And that helps you to perform better, whether you're dancing or whether you're giving a presentation or whether you're just walking through life and not wanting to fall over. Balance is important and the stability is important. So that's really what we're gonna work on the most. This also helps with uh, bone health which is kind of funny it's a chinese medicine thing but it does help with with your bone health doing the stretch can help to build up your body's disposition to build stronger bones hopefully we'd love that right and it also helps you with motivation because when you can move easy you feel more motivated right so i think you're really gonna love this week it just it feels so good especially to release a low back pain like let's get rid of that nonsense right who needs it and so our affirmation for this week is, I comfortably and easily release the old and welcome the new in my life. I am safe. Releasing the old, welcoming the new. Not feeling so rigid, not thinking like, well, in the past I couldn't dance, so now I can't, still can't dance. Like you can, my friends, you can dance. Let's do it. Okay, now I'm gonna show you this one stretch today, and then we're gonna go right into our workout. We're gonna need the chair which means we're gonna have to kick Suri off, unfortunately. Maybe she'll get down by yourself while I tell you what you need for class. Get a rope, because you'll need that for your hamstring stretches. You should already have it. Get your towel for your quad stretch. You're gonna need that. You may want a bolster for your Shavasana, if that feels good. And of course, your chair. Aha, see it worked. Okay, so take your chair and make sure that it's in a good place for you but close to the wall because I want you to feel like you have something good to hold on to if you lose your balance, okay? You're gonna take one leg. I'm gonna put my right leg up on the chair and then it's like right in front of me and then I'm gonna shift it so that my heel comes to the left corner of the chair. So I'm actually going from my leg being straight in front of me to my leg being crossed in front of me. Then for resistance, I'm gonna push my foot down into the chair. So it's like I'm trying to pull the chair over and then from here, lean forward as far as you feel like you want, and then use your leg to push you back up, okay? My other leg's working pretty hard to keep me balanced. So if you feel like you're a little off balance, you might be going too far into the stretch, 
or you may just need something to hold on to, okay? So you just go up and down just like this. Now, I'm fully aware that some people don't have the flexibility to get their leg up like this all the way, okay? That's fine. You could either bend your leg, and as you come forward, just try to straighten it a little bit. That might be fine. Or you could find a lower tier. That would be okay, okay? Or a block or a box or something. Like you can have a lower, a stool, something lower so that you feel like you can progress. And eventually, when you feel like you have a little more range of motion, you could try something higher, all right? I'm pretty flexible and I find a regular chair is just fine for the stretch. Now let's do the other side too. Bring your left leg up, this is my left leg, straight on. And then without turning the rest of my body, my body's gonna stay straight on. I'm just gonna let my foot come over to the right side of the chair. So my leg is diagonal across my body. Still facing forward, I'm just gonna bend down into the stretch while I push my left leg into the chair and back up. If my legs was bent, it would just look like this. And if I use the lower tier, I'm just here, okay? You do what feels the best to you, okay? All right, and that's the stretch of the week. Okay, my friends, I will see you in the workout. Bye-bye.